what is up risk takers welcome to the kill beat strategy i am pete i'm a top player in risk global domination we have a daily release on youtube and weeknight streams on twitch and if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channels come along the ride with me we are playing some classic progressive capitals i'm in the second seat the first player is a neutral bot uh settings full settings uh classic caps auto 60 expert neutral progressive cards with nothing fancy no fog no portals no blizz no alliances and as i said i'm in position two of six we got a white player is an expert bot i'm playing as purple black plays richmond gibbles three who chooses a neighbor cap and not a great one uh blue player is pizant from portugal they probably cap indonesia would be my guess maybe on their seven in quebec Cap Indonesia. Uh, yellow players, General Hiroboshi14314 from USA. Uh, they cap India, not New Guinea. Maybe Iceland. Yeah, red says good game because red has no cap spot or because red caps I am. Be happy red didn't pick the middle of Africa? He might. Yeah. Okay, yellow caps Japan. Very interesting pick for yellow. I don't really hate it. Yellow is saying, let's make sure everyone hits each other. And red picks Siam cap or Congo cap. You know, if red's good, they, they pick Ontario. Let's see. That's the best. That's their best choice. Okay, that's an okay choice too. I don't hate that. Two Asia caps. Okay, so yeah, uh, blue's going to come out to a strong lead in the Australia position. White's going to gum up the board north of me. Where do I even get easy takes? Here. In North America. Yep. Black is going to slowly but surely take South America, which is fine. I don't really, it's progressive. I don't really care about the plus twos. What's up, Koala Gandalf? Hi, Pete. Here in time to deliver the standard. Finally, finally caught a streamline. Oh, yeah? You caught it. You grabbed it. And now you're here. How are you? How you doing? Koala Gandalf. Mm. Okay, blue gonna take so, uh, blue gonna take Australia. Both red and yellow choosing garbage caps is interesting to me. Black player is Richmond Gibbles 3 from USA. Blue player is Pizant from Portugal. Uh, yellow player General Hirabashi 14314 from USA. Re and red player is Invisible Taco from Australia. Wow. Wow, you should have put a few <laughs> more troops on your capital, bro. Takes it on the first turn. Can you explain the capital mode like I'm five? Sure, folks, if you're new to capital conquest mode. Capital conquest mode adds three wrinkles to your regular risk game, either fixed or progressive. Number one, capital conquest mode is the win condition. If you control all the capitals after the third turn, you win the game. You don't have to take the whole board. Number two, each capital generates two additional troops. So you're seeing the players start with five troops. That's because their normal is three. And they get plus two for their for holding their capital. Yeah, he does. Red does roll. Stupid, stupid play by blue. Final thing you see. You see how red just lost a roll and they lost minus three. Final thing capitals do is they defend with three dice instead of two. Red went really unfriendly to blue and then pussied out. Now he's going to taste their wrath. <laughs> and those are all of the mechanical differences. In Capital Conquest. There are obviously strategic differences as well. And those I will help elucidate. As they become more apparent. Okay. I like this board state. I'm sitting with 16 on cap. Um, at some point, Black is going to want to take South America. I was expecting to take South America. 
Let's see how many off-cap troops he tries to dedicate to blocking. Any? None. Good. Okay, well, then I just put my whole stack in there. <laughs> Purple looks OP. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, does blue break? Just tell me blue breaks for me. I will love you. Break him. Break him. Break him. Do the break for me. Don't guard him. Okay, he lets me hit. Let's me go pop pop. Cool. That's good. Did some light work for us. Thanks for being the shit, Pete. If it just helped a lot, you're welcome. You got murked. You won't be getting murked anymore. And yellow takes the seven cap. Not yet. Yellow might actually want to take the red cap. Yeah, yellow threatens the red cap. If you're red, you put some troops on your capital, I think. Okay. So I'm going to put two troops on the seven. The reason I want to do that is I want there to be about a seven for the 10 to hit. It'll be a 15, I guess. Maybe I don't put any troops. I just leave it as what it is. It'll be a five at best. That's probably fine. Nah, I'm gonna put two troops. Just one, just one troop. The other, okay. The other four troops go on the capital. So in 20 cap, we're going to go pop pop. We're going to slide her down because I really don't want to lose anything. I want to be sitting on there with a six. Yes. Okay. So if this guy rolls a 15 V6 and if he gets bad dice, then I can steal his capital and he'll quit the game. Let's see him do it. If he's good, he doesn't. If he's good, he capsizes and takes a card exterior. How's it going, Pete? You cap stacking son of a gun. Thank you, man. So T doof was good. Finally caught one of these live. Welcome in folks. Welcome in. He does. He does stack exterior, but he doesn't cap stack exterior. Okay. He is going to roll a six V six. What? That wasn't what I expected you to do at all. Interesting play. Hmm. Literally, the most important lesson I've learned off Pete is cap stack the shit out of your cap and play hella patient. Right. Well, I mean, time your opportunities, time your strike. I do have a set on 3 2. It is progressive. Black happy next to me just always sticks in my craw. I suppose I'll let him get his bonus back. Maybe blue starts fucking with him after he does. At least he won't have a bonus early. I don't spend a single another troop exterior. Will you ever do another 1v1 tourney? Those are my favorite OG vids. No, probably not. I do, I'm not competitive at 1v1s. I'll play 1v1 sort of for educational purposes, but they're not fun for me. And I also, and I'll tell you why, right? The reason 1v1 risk isn't fun for me, hits the 10 cap and doesn't. Wow, I was expecting yellow to hit the 10 cap. Okay, the reason 1v1 risk isn't fun for me is I don't seem to be able to detect any improvement. So it feels like I'm working at something, but not getting any better. We saw a cool 1v1 yesterday. Yeah, man. Well, exactly. I'll do them from time to time for educational purposes. Noob says, Pete, I have a slightly controversial view that holding two caps early in the game decreases your chance of winning overall. Only in classical math, of course. No, I can see that. I can see that. It's not a great move because you don't want to have to guard two and then you're more likely to get hit 
better. No, I don't see that as being all that controversial. And 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 also the two troops you're going to get similar to Australia, right? The two troops you're going to get really don't matter. All right, well, we're going to keep getting cards off the six until it gets popped. Rex says, that's fair. I can never comprehend manual placement and how to line paths. You only play auto placements for your luck base. Auto placement 1v1s, yeah. Like, why bother? Do we see 15v5? No, we see 5v5. Great, he's pissing away four troops. And, oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, folks. All right, 11. Do we... <laughs> <laughs> 25 v 11 what are we thinking 25 v 11 still not great it's still not a good play slam it i'm not doing it it'll be 30 v 11 no, i don't think so what's up exorphitus capital indonesia and dueling capitals north africa and brazil staring each other down sounds about right yep just keep in mind, I capped first <laughs> on this board. I capped North Africa first. Do I have a set? I'm not taking it, man. Break, Blue. Break, 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 break. Be a hear me. Be a hear me. Come on, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. He's going to hate you all game either way. Yeah, because he picked next to me, this monkey. Yeah! Now I don't have to fucking worry. Now I don't have to worry at all. Too many you don't see too many people grind 1v1 auto placement? Yeah, because it's a fucking coin flip. You can't grind because you'll lose eventually. <laughs> it's a coin flip. I am so happy blue is a bad neighbor there. I can't even tell you. That is just fantastic. Fuck you, Black. Eat a dick. Just munch right on it. Munch right on it, sir. Overextend to take a fucking plus two like a monkey. Interested in the two Asian capitals? None in North America. Right. Well, that's why Blue is slowly taking North America. <laughs> <coughs> and Red. Well, it's a neutral bot, so neutral bots don't attack. Which is also just an awful, awful setting, right? You should never be able to start a game with a neutral bot. It, the, the bot should start the game as automated and then be neutral from then on. That's just such an obvious design flaw that needs to be... That's just a loophole that needs to be closed. Neutral bot should never start games and because look at this. They stack all games. So we have pseudo blizzards, basically. Until someone hits that 10 cap. I don't know what the move is. I'm just going to hit that. But it's not great, and I don't love it. I'm not hitting that capital yet. Not worth. I want to. If I want to hit this uh, this black player, I want to kill him. Yeah, white's a bot. White is a neutral bot. All right, black, hit the six. Sets, yes. Maybe incensed by the power of a trade. So I'm like, maybe blue won't break a four stack. Oh, Blue's going to break a four stack, baby. Blue has a bonus. Blue has an unbroken bonus. And they have 12 territories. Eight troops. How many troops go? Oh, they set. Oh, Kalu, Kalei. Oh, my goodness. How many go to Mexico to fuck up this guy's shit? Ten. Ten before. Why did you card skip? There's no, no, no reason for me to card skip. I trash talk Jitsu. Thanks, man. <laughs> Blue hits the four. I'd be shocked if he doesn't. He doesn't. Wow. Wow. No way. 
No way. Okay, so Blue wants North America. <laughs> no way. I can't believe it. My card options are real shitty, though. Okay, yellow takes the eight trade here to take the, yeah, yeah, loses 14 out of 10 cap. That's fine. We'll test out new Norris theory. Let's see if yellow loses this game from trying to hold two caps. Big peener, right guy. <laughs> peener, how you doing? First time casting stream, been watching your vids for a few months now. Tell Reg to say hi. Hey, Reg, a guy named Big Peener says hi. He looked like this. He doesn't, he doesn't like, he doesn't like your Twitch name, sir. He's concerned about the size of the peener. Basically, this is concern. This is, pri this is primary concern. It is, it's concerning. Okay, red is now wasting their clock. Sure hope red doesn't bought out. They don't, they set. And 42 cap takes a 17. That would be jokes. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, ah. goes even goes even oh ba 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 oh ba 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 gives me a free capital thanks man thank you so much appreciate you oh, how about this noob how about when I get it for almost free? Does that change the math? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna roll 11 v 10. Oh yeah, we are. Now we're gonna cut off the seven. What else just happened? Red traded capitals. Red spent about 20 troops to trade capitals and stay at the same number of troops. Hey, what's up, the dude of bads? How are ya? We got a Reginald Schmobus boy Jage here, but I'm not picking him up because my shirt will be covered with cat hair. That was an expensive move. It was a terrible move as well. All right. There he is. Hey, Reg. Good Schmobus boy. Hi. Wow. You still gotta wait. It's not even close to dinner time. All right, what is Blue doing? At some point, Blue's gonna want to slam the this. I like this Cold War a lot. This Cold War makes me very happy. They they have decent size stacks, poised to hit each other. Okay, yellow removed from the pocket. Yellow might become fishy from that. No, no, you can't sit on the keyboard, bud. If you sit on the keyboard, you're gonna fuck up my game of risk, sir. So Boomstick, how are you? Glad to see you still have all the luck. So far, so good. I'm a luck, as I often like to remind you folks, I'm a very, very lucky man. So. Come for the reg. Risk is just a plus. I understand he is quite the appeal. Pound for pound, the greatest risk player in the entire world. Reginald Schmopus Boy Jeej. Yeah, now Yellow's just thinking, he's like, I'm going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. You done fucked up. All right, we got cards. Can we kill Yellow? Can we kill Yellow? What do we got? Ready? Come up his man. What are, you pawing? what are you pawing at, sir? Hey, listen. You gotta chill. You must chill. Thank you. Pound for pound because it's only 10 pounds. That was the joke. <laughs> Bye, Sniper knows what I'm saying. Worth killing because he's the best opponent? Well, I don't think I kill him yet. Reg, you can't listen. You're going to fuck up my game of risk, bro. What are you doing? All right, we got a 29 cap. Feeling cute, looking cute. We got a 21 cap that's poised to kill yellow if and when we're feeling frisky. We have a set. 
We hope to take, okay, 18 rolls to the 12, yeah? No, seven rolls in the middle. Uh-huh. Lucy Boot says, Reggie is wasting away, Pete. He needs food. He's got the itis, suffering from fat fakitis. So it might be fatal, as he would like to say. Okay. We're getting nine now for holding 15. At some point, if you're blue, you think about backing off that stack in Mexico. You don't add to it. Blue. He blew himself, folks. He's never nude. Oh, he's just matching. That's the best Cold War we've ever seen, right? Matching stacks. I love it. They're going to, those stacks are going to delete each other, and I'm going to have no part of it, and I'm going to laugh. He blew himself, yeah. <laughs> and then, where do you get your card? Off the 13. Yeah, Blue really playing it like it's a fixed game. It's about half of his troops off capital. No, sorry, two-thirds of his troop was off capital. Room 6 says, I wish I could blue myself. Yeah, oh well. The dream of every young man, I'm sure. Ah, uh, yes. Does yellow? Is yellow worth for 15 trade? He's not. This is the ish. He's not worth. How you doing, Buck? Hey, yes, sir. How you doing today? Buckley. He's going to put that stack into his capital. Red's not doing all that terribly. And now he's giving me cards in Africa, which I will take. I don't set here. I'm only going to put three up there. my majority cap is strong. All right, so we have a 24 and a 32 cap. Sitting on five cards. Let's see if anyone sets early. Yellows are really on the rope, so I didn't want to kill them for the 15 trade. I mean, I would have taken the 15 trade and then gotten the 20, but it's still not great. It might have been a good move to delete a player, but I'd just as soon let one of my other opponents do shit like this. So black just sets now, took the 15 which means I'm going to get the 20, 25 something deletes, right? So they lose equal. We were waiting for that to happen. Yup. Keep popping. Now green's going to be pissed. Green's going to set in in reciprocity and punch back. I would love that. Great bro. Quick day for work. Nice. How's the weather? You know where it says the Akuts cap is a good cap. I just think the chance of someone irrationally smacking half of your troops increased dramatically with the two caps. I don't think that's a thought, right? I don't think that's a matter of opinion. And I don't think it's controversial. I think you're 100% spot on with that analysis. I think having two slightly weaker caps increases the odds of them getting smacked and then you lose half your troops. I didn't spend a ton to take it. We'll see if that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'll, I'll focus on uh, on keeping my main cap strong, but your, your point is very well met in this regard. I would tend to agree with that. Okay, we do hit the 9, 26 v 9. Gonna tee up black. And that was the 20 trade, right? Okay, let's see if yellow takes the 25. If yellow doesn't take the 25, I kill them on five cards. Like, imagine yellow doesn't have a set here. That's a great kill. NFB Piglet thinking what I'm thinking. If yellow no set, he's in very big trouble. Yes. All right, yellow set. Set and cap stack. Uh, Daddy Cruz has just wanted to take this opportunity to ask, how are you? You happy? Share the love? Yeah, man. I'm really happy. Thank you. And I love you too. Back at you, man. All the love. We don't lose the 24. That would be dumb. Ooh, okay. He is dumb. He's hitting... Blue for no reason weakening himself. 
I thought he was better than that. That move made no sense. Okay, he sets when he hits a 17 of blue. <laughs> what is this game, guys? What is this game? What a joke. Also, I really hope you're well, Daddy Crew. I want you guys to know that I'm very grateful and I appreciate you all for chilling and watching. You know? Keeps me going. Makes me feel like this work is all worthwhile. I'm super grateful for you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. What happens now? 33 of red. Red sits on five cards. Oh, God. What are you thinking? He's not guarding his capital at all. What are you doing? Red, no. Oh, my God. God, does Red feed me his own kill? No. Okay. <laughs> Red's almost worth 243 for five, but he's not. So that's only 30. Okay, we'll take the 30. Hey, thanks, Matt Brown. Thanks for the prime, dude. I'm just going to make this a 30 cap now. Keep my majority cap the strong one. Victor Slim says, I gotta live vicariously through you, Peteman. I'm on risk highest till at least November. What's up, Victor? You on vacation? Oh, shit. All right. All right. Black is going to be the fish. Black looking real fishy. Fish, 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 fresh fish. All right, so the black blue war has now gone higher heights. Black looking mad juicy greed. Black has chosen death. Black is about to taste, taste it. So yellow's gonna get, or uh, red is gonna get to trade. Yellow has gonna hit Siberia. Hey, buddy. Gotta wait still. Does red help me with the black hill hitting you, Madagascar? Man, this black hill looks pretty worth. Oh, so let's get to 35. Okay. Oh, no, don't kill the white. Oh, he's killing black. Okay. He is killing. <laughs> this is super dumb. He's going to miss. He's going to go all the way around the world to miss this kill and feed it to me even easier. This is a gift on a silver platter. Maybe he gets it. Maybe he sets in. No, there's no chance. He doesn't have the troops, man. He doesn't have the troops. 16 v 11, you lose all your troops. Okay, no, he just feeds me the kill. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? That made no fucking sense. You fed me the easiest kill. Okay, thanks, brah. I don't think that was a good move for red. <laughs> Lol. I don't think that was a good move for red at all. Kill red? Yeah, I, I mean, why not kill him on four cards? <laughs> so that's a 45. Okay, blue sets gets the 45. Does blue take the red kill? This game might be over real quick now. I have so many more truths than everybody, and I have a I have a set here. Let's see above responses. Are you on VK? Where are you, Victor? Three tourney games on my mini honeymoon. Ah, spend time with your woman. Yeah, man, for sure. 
I need to learn how to lose, how to keep my emotions in check when I do, thus not punching shit and screaming when stupid shit happens. Yeah, hey man, that's the game, right? Stupid shit often happens. Yeah. Red says, you fed my kill. Oh no, do I die too now to Pete? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. Unless yellow takes the red kill. They can't though. They can't get to the 17. I can. I can def get to the 17. I'm going to... Ah, Steve went to bed? Fuck, you're gonna miss you're gonna miss the Michael Jackson, Steve. That's a bummer. You got this game, Pete? Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone dies from this from this point. This is an everyone dies scenario. Red doesn't have cards. Red gives me thank you. Red gives me a fourth card. Appreciate you. Thank you for your sacrifice. That makes me do a little bit of a harder split. Okay. The set kill red set. Yeah, Red sees that he is deceased. Can we kill Yellow? Probably? Went to a 1v1 with Blue. Yeah. Let's just take that kill now. <laughs> 84 and a 47 cap. <laughs> what the fuck? And we got a 69 cap, folks. And you know what time it is when we got a 69 cap, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we dab on that. Who's got the dabs? Who's got the dabs in the chat? Let's see some dabs. Let's go. A little dab will do you. Yeah, but dab and doobie. The power of the 69 cap compels you. Oh, baby. No set. Bammer. That's a bammer, man. That's a lot of dabs, folks. Appreciate all of your support, ladies and gentlemen. And the dabulation. Epic. Epic dabs. Glorious. Truly magnificent. See, even if he has a trade, how do you get out of that? I right, pump your whole trade into me. Even if he has a trade, you're not getting far. Good game, sir. Oh, I got a DM from Bucket. It better not be your penis again. I'm just saying. 
Solicited dick pics only, Buck. <laughs> Let him have second by killing the bot? Nah, no point. He already has second. Bot started as a bot. He has second. That's game. In the house, have you sold your company yet? I put up an ad on Kijiji tonight, and then I celebrated by ordering some sushi. So wish me luck, folks. And that is all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. Uh, click the like if you like the video. Click the notifications. You get notifications for when a new show comes out. We got two every day. We got a morning show on Free Pete. We got an evening show. On the Kill Beat Strategies, feeding one novice, three beginners. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the game for risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch and for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.